Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a Philadelphia Eagles check in after the first two weeks of the season as our Eagles sit at 1-1 one one after thrashing the Falcons in week one and after losing to the 49ers 17-11 to in a close, hard-fought effort that there was missed opportunities in the first half that could have turned the tide the other way in that game as they go into week three to face the Dallas Cowgirls, or Cowboys, I mean. Um... Where, if we look at our division, the division between three people, which is a three-way tie right now at 1-1 one one with the Washington football team, us, and of course, those Dallas Cowboys. And then the Giants sit at 0-2 to start the season. So, the Eagles, of course, took advantage by winning their Week 1 matchup, and now have come to a tie of the division after Week 2, and could very well, I think from last week's game, really be in good position if they come in and play a good game. And honestly, now, how they even just were able to play defensively while not playing good offensively to keep themselves in the game against the 49ers, I think that brings some good success into Dallas because if you look at Jalen Hurts from Week 1, he was able to get the offense going. He was able to do both, pass and run really well against the Falcons. Well, Dallas doesn't have a good defense either. So, and they're missing key components of their defense. So I think Jalen Hurts is going to honestly ball out on Monday Night Football and play a lot more like he did in Week 1. I think Devontae have a good game, then Quez Watkins is your Swiss Army Knife that you really mix in. Honestly, the Week 2 game, yeah, you're frustrated they lost. Obviously, you're always going to be as a Philly sports fan. That's the way we are, ride and die, high tide and then low. But you should be happy in an aspect because our offense was dead. We couldn't get the passing game going much at all. The running game, you really didn't establish too much via um, the running backs. I think Sanders had like 56 yards or something like that, if I remember, um, from the stat sheet. And then you had Hurts with the most rushing yards uh, in the high 80s or low 90s, wherever he was at. I can't exactly remember. But he had a good rushing yards game. And the key is he still hasn't turned it over. Well, Dallas is not a high turnover-prone defense. That would actually be... He had a fumble, but it was recovered. That would actually be... Um, San Francisco, out of all the defenses we played so far, that would be a defense that can give you high turnover potential, and that didn't happen in that game. So he still at least took care of the ball well, especially uh, when it comes to the passing game. The Eagles just need to take advantage of the opportunities. But my friend, um, too, did make a good point when I was talking to him this week. You have the 49ers defense. The reason they are one of the big kahunas, one of the bigger defenses in the league, is all those top-notch defenses, what separates them from mediocre to average defenses is they might let you get down the field into the goal line, but once you get there, they're going to stamp you. They're going to stop you. It's like the Eagles defense when they had B-Dawk, that Ravens defense back in the day. With like They're going to supplant you. They might let you get down the field sometimes, but then usually you ain't scoring. And the Eagles are young. They're inexperienced, so I ain't surprised that actually happened. They just need to come into this game and play more like they did Week 1, which was, by the way, also away. But obviously, you're coming in the jury's world. It's a hell of a lot different than going into Atlanta. I understand that. But the Cowboys do not have a good defense. They really honestly do not. They have a great offense, which is the reason they were able to keep pace and just lose to Tampa Bay in Week 1. But then they only scored 20 points against the Chargers, who have a good defense, obviously. But they didn't have as good of an offensive output that week. So the key for the Eagles is just going to be, since they can't keep pace with probably a 40 to 35, one of those Tampa Bay type games yet with their offense, that is going to be holding them like they were able to hold the 49ers. Play a good defensive game. Play good on the defensive front. Everybody's really playing well. The boys are playing great together on the defensive front this year. And there's been some nice plays made in the secondary as well. So if that can continue and to progress from the first two weeks against a mediocre Falcons opponent, but then you saw it against a good 49ers opponent, to a very good 49ers opponent. Now you want to see it against a very good elite offense to a very good mediocre, or to a very mediocre defense. You want to see our offense, I mean, then pounce on them as well. So I think the Eagles defense will still be able to keep pace. I think what you want to do for now is try to keep them at 21 or under this week, and then you would have a good chance to win the game because you're going to be able to throw, you're going to be able to run, you're going to be able to mix in those screens. You're going to be able to use Quez as the Swiss Army knife in Jerry's world on Monday Night Football against Dallas' defense, especially when they're missing key components of their defense as well. Got to be able to limit Dak. You got to be able to limit Z. You got to be able to limit Amari, who's killed us in the pit. And then Gallup, of course, 
as a slot guy has killed us in the past, but we also have better people to guard against that this year if they keep playing like they did in the first two weeks. So the Eagles just need to keep doing what they're doing, and I think this game is going to on the Hurts end of things, I, I, not the overall score end of things, will obviously be closer, but we'll be a lot more replicated to week one because Dallas does not have a good defense. I think he's going to be able to open it up, get more confidence from this game. And he didn't, in my opinion, play overall bad in week two either. It's just there was not the best play call, and Sirianni took ownership of it after the game. He said, I got to do better. And he's young. He's a new, experienced coach, too. Good week one, not good week two. Let's see what he does in week three. But I think him and Hertz will come together again this week. They take advantage of that very mediocre, to say the least, Dallas defense, especially with key components missing. And then the Eagles just need to guard against that very, very solid receiving core, Zeke, and then Dak just throwing it all over everybody, which is what he's been doing since entering the league. So as long as they can limit them to 21 points, I think the Eagles have a good chance to win this game because I think Hurts will ball out. I think Devontae Smith will ball out. Probably have Reger mix in, and then you have Quags Watkins as a great Swiss Army knife. But the key the Eagles also need to do as a wrap-up point this week is involve the damn tight ends more. If you're playing the 49ers, you're playing a good defense, you can't go one component. And I think that's why Sirianni owned not being good with the playbook. You can't go one component more via your wide receivers. you got to involve the tight end game more. And I think they will do that this week against Dallas and also really have the receivers have big games because Dallas is not of the best defense. This has been Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick. This has been a Philadelphia Eagles check-in. I hope you all enjoy the content. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe and share it out on your social media to spread the wealth. I really appreciate you guys. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. And go Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Let's fly, baby, and bring that win into Jerry's world on Monday Night Football and show the league that we actually mean some boss, at least when it comes to the NFC East or NFC Least, however you want to put it this season. Peace out, everybody.